how many of us really have the right magnitude of flashlight? Who has flares? Who has something that's loud enough if the roof fell on you that somebody could hear? I mean, you know, we all have grandparents and older aunts and people who may get left behind because there's nothing we talk about. You know, I have two sons and I asked the question, if something were to happen, what phone number would we call to say, hey, I'm okay? They got quiet. So we had to come up with the number of a family member up north that everybody would call into to say, hey, I'm okay. We can't take it lightly. 9-11 showed us that. And that wasn't a natural disaster, that was man-made. So, you know, we just have to be cognizant. It's not all about, you know, sometimes people are like, why do you talk about disaster all the time? That's not uh, exciting. Uh, that's sad. Well, it's not sad if you're ready. It's not sad if you're prepared. It's not sad if you can leave. It's, it's not sad if you know the numbers to call. It's not sad if you know how to access the resources. You know, it, it might not sound good to say, but sometimes people are better off after their house did blow away. They get a new one. So, I mean, you know, sometimes it's good and bad. And sometimes it's awful when you don't have the resources and you don't have the people to come and help. And so I'm just grateful for the journey. We've had the resources and we've been able to help.